Hi everybody, this is Quabana from OpenMV and today I'm going to be showing off April Tag support on the new OpenMV Cam M7 powered by ST Microelectronics STM32 M7 microcontroller. But first, what are April Tags? Well, they're like giant QR codes, which your robot can see from far away. Each April Tag encodes a unique ID number that your robot can use to determine different surfaces of things. For example, this Boston Dynamics robot here has a different April tag on each side of this cube, allowing it to figure out whether the top of the cube, whether it's holding the top of the cube or the bottom of the cube. OpenMV IDE can actually generate April tags for you. All you have to do is go to Tools, Machine Vision, April Tag Generator, and select the tag family to use. Each tag family encodes a different unique set of April tags. The best one to use is the TAG63H11 tag family. All you have to do is enter the number of tags you want to generate, and OpenMV IDE will generate from them for you. So I'm going to enter a range of 0 to 10 to generate 11 tags. Then all you have to do is select a folder to put tags in, and OpenMV IDE will output all the tags in that folder. Once it's done, you can just open that folder, And voila, you have all your April tags that you want to use ready to go in a printable format that you can print out on 11, 8.5 by 11 pieces of paper. Additionally, the unique ID code of each tag is saved for you in the printout, so you can figure out yourself what this tag means. Next, we're going to use these printed out April tags and detect them using the OpenMV cam. All right, so let's check out April Tag's tracking performance with the OpenMV Cam M7. So just like find blobs and find QR codes, all you have to do is call the find April Tags function on the image. Once you do that, you're going to get a list of tags, and then you can iterate through the list of tags and get the bounding box rectangle around each tag, the centroid of each tag, the ID number, which in this case is zero, and the rotation of the tag. The rotation is actually accurate to zero to 360 degrees. As you can see, we can rotate the OpenMV cam by 90 degrees and easily detect that rotation by looking at how the tag has changed in our field of view. Along with being able to detect the rotation, you can also detect the tag family associated with each tag. But unlike QR codes, April tags do not need to be centered in the field of view, and you can actually detect multiples from far away quite easily. As you can see, I've, placed, I've printed out three April tags and placed them above my computer. We've got nine on the, right, on the left, eight in the center, and seven on the right. And so all three can be detected quite easily in the field of view of your OpenMV Cam M7. April tags are actually translation, rotation, shear, and scale invariant, along with being lighting invariant. This means you can more or less use them in the real world in any situation, and detection of them will not fail. We've also got three April tags on the wall over me to the right. So, how far away can you detect these April tags? Well, I'm about a good 10 feet away from them right now, and I'm still able to pick them up. If you print them out bigger, you'll be able to pick them up from even farther away. Your OpenMV Cam M7 is limited to a resolution of 160 by 120 for detecting April tags. While this is not a huge resolution, it's enough for small robotic applications to be able to find April tags in their field of view. So, we're just going to show off tracking a few other April tags. As you can see, rotation does not matter. And we can easily just pick them up in the room. Anyway, last but not least, April tags are super shear invariant. I mentioned that before, but as you can see, I can still pick this April tag up even when I'm not even looking on it straight. So, with April tag support on the new OpenMV Cam M7, you're going to be able to finally make that robot that can drive around the room like the Boston Robotics robots. Thank you for watching.